everyone. We'll come back to English 2, Unit 12, Social Media Memes. I'm Sophie Lee. I'm very glad that Teacher Fred is with us today. Teacher Fred, please say hello. Hi, everybody. 第十二课呢，我们要探讨和魔音相关的议题。我们会学到相关的智慧，像fed, coined, captioned, digital 这类的单词。Fellows, uh, please uh, read the list of words and example sentences. Fed, fed. 名词，一时的风尚或是短暂的狂热。Back a few years ago. Wearing ripped jeans was a fad. 早在幾年前穿著破牛仔褲呢,是一種時尚,ripped是破爛傳統的意思。Comedic. Comedic. 形容詞,喜劇的。Charlie Chaplin is a comedic actor. Charlie Chaplin呢是一個喜劇演員,我們喜劇演員我們可以說是comedian. Coined, coined. 形容詞是被發明、被創造出來的。The term meme was coined by Richard Dawkins, a biologist. 魔音這個詞呢是由生物學家 Richard Dawkins 呢他所發明的。Multiply, multiply. 動詞大幅的增加或是相乘的意思。if you multiply three by two, you get six. 如果將三乘以二等於六。Mutate, mutate. 動詞變異。The coronavirus is mutating and is resistant to certain drugs. 冠狀病毒正在變異,並且對某些藥物產生抵抗力。Caption. Caption. 動詞, 呃, 一種圖示說明. The picture was captioned Helen of Troy. 圖片標題為, Forum. Forum. 名詞, 是一種論壇, 呃, Discussion forums are a means of contacting people from all over the world. 讨论论坛是和世界各地的人联系的一种方式。Digital, digital. 形容词数位的或数字的。Uber is a taxi company using digital technology. Uber呢是一家使用数位科技的一个出租车公司。Dynamite. The issue of unemployment is political dynamite, which can affect the upcoming presidential election. Steroid. Peter is taking steroids for his asthma. Peter Condescending. Condescending. 形容詞, 表現出高人一等的樣子, his condescending attitude offended all of his friends. 他的高高在上的那種態度呢, 冒犯了他所有的朋友. Sarcastic. Sarcastic. 形容詞, 呃, 諷刺的, 嘲笑的, the wicked girl made fun of her best friend's shortcomings with sarcastic remarks. 那个坏女孩用嘲讽的言语呢, Bucket. Bucket. 名詞, 桶子, 特别是有把手的桶子。with a bucket of paint and a brush, Tom started whitewashing the fence. Tom Degenerative. Degenerative. 形容詞, 變性的, 退化性的, 一種疾病, 
Lou Gehrig disease is the same degenerative disease that affects Professor Stephen Hawking. 渐冻人症，好，就是所谓的 Lou Gehrig， 就是折磨 Steve Hawkins 教授的一种退化性疾病。Afflict, afflict. 动词，使痛苦，使苦恼，折磨人的。Coronavirus afflicts older adults more than young children. 冠状病毒对老年人的折磨呢，比对幼儿的折磨还要大。Uh, before we talk about the text, let's ask Teacher Fred a couple of questions as he is one of the digital natives. Teacher Fred, mm -hmm. do you think that we live in an era defined by memes? Yes, I do. I think we live in an era of memes. I think using memes could be a way to express our feelings more accurately, on point, and easier to relate to. 哦、oh, ，Teacher Fred 呢？他说哦，他们现在是生活在由这个魔音定义的时代。那他认为呢，使用魔音呢，可以更精准的表达我们的感受。好，第二个问题是 ，What kind of memes have you seen on YouTube video, movie, screen grabs, or catchphrases? One example from YouTube and many news broadcasts is the one by the famous NBA player Nick Young meme. Where he has a question mark near his head with a funny expression on his face. Some people in Taiwan might say "Hayden Wen Hao," which is kind of racist, but that's how everyone knows him by. This meme is used a lot by younger generation because it is so relatable and accurate when you send it to your friends. It shows the extreme state of mind of a person who is blown out of his or her mind when hearing something that makes them sigh. If something blows your mind, you are very excited or surprised by it. Okay, YouTube 呢和许多新闻广播中呢有一个例子呢，就是著名的 NBA 球员 Nick Young 他的那个魔音哈的例子。他的头呢旁边有一个问号，那脸上有滑稽的表情。台湾有些人呢可能会说黑人问号是一种种族主义，但这就是 Nick Young。meme 呢，让每个人都知道它的一个方式哦。这个 meme 呢，在年轻一代中被广泛的使用，因为当你将它发送给朋友的时候，它是如此的表达精准，它也表达了一个人的极端心理状态。当他们听到使他们傻眼的东西的时候，哦，他的脑筋呢就像被炸开一样哦。那是的。解释魔音呢，需要花费一些时间，但是当你实际使用它的时候，它真的是容易多了。那第十二课呢，我们在谈这些魔音如何影响我们的消费、评论和沟通等习惯。呃，我们不会对所有的答案呢都会有呃，我们不会有给所有的答案。但是，身为数位化时代的我们呢，这些数位下的产物呢，正在影响我们的生活。或许呢，我们。该好好的留意这些数位化的发展对我们生活的影响。Um, what do those meme images affect how we com consume, criticize, and communicate? 第一段呢，告诉我们什么是魔音。那魔音呢，通常跟现有的文化或是次文化有关。Teacher Fred will read the first paragraph. Thank you. According to Wikipedia, a meme is an idea, behavior, or style that becomes a fad and spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture and often carries symbolic meaning representing a particular phenomenon or theme. In the case of social media, an internet meme is a kind of meme that goes viral via the internet for comedic. Purposes. Also, according to Sprout Social, the term "meme" was coined by Richard Darkin, a biologist. Darkins believed that cultural ideas are like genes. He thought that our concepts, as a society, spread from brain to brain, multiplying and mutating. This term abounds with cultural jokes throughout caption photos. And video sharing, memes are a worldwide social phenomenon. 
Means often relate to existing cultures or subcultures. Memes gather emotions, ideas, and actions into an easy to translate format. Often memes spread rapidly through social media, email, and forum boards. Memes are ideal for the digital age. 好，根据 Wikipedia 的说法，呃、uh, ，meme 呢是一种观念、行为或是风格，它已经成为一种风尚，并借由人与人之间的模仿，在一个文化中传开来，往往呢传达带有特定现象或是主题的一种象征意义。我们看看这个句子 ：According to Wikipedia, a meme is an idea, behavior, or style that becomes a fad. 好，这后面的这个 that becomes a fad 是由 that that 子句哦，这个动词有两个动词哈，来修饰前面的这个受词 ，an idea, behavior or style。这里的 that 子句很长，有三个动词 becomes, spreads and carries。我们来看一看，这三个动词后面呢又有很多的说明，例如 becomes a fad 成为一种风尚。Spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture. 借由人与人之间的模仿，在一个文化中传播开来。And carries symbolic meanings representing a particular phenomenon or theme. 而且呢，往往传达带有代表特定现象或是主题的一种象征意义。In the case of social media. An internet meme is a kind of meme that goes viral via the internet for comedic purposes. In the case of social media, 就社交媒体而言，这个网络的这个 meme 呢，是出于喜剧目的，透过呃网络疯狂传播的一种魔音。To go viral via the internet, 透过网络疯狂的传播。Also, according to Sprout Social, the term meme was coined by Richard Dawkins, a biologist. 同样呢，根据这个 Sprout Social 这个网站的说法呢，这个魔音这个词呢是由生物学家 Richard Dawkins 发明的。Dawkins 呢 believe that cultural ideas are like genes. Dawkins 呢相信文化的观念呢就像基因一样。He thought that our concepts as a society spread from brand to brand, multiplying and mutating. 他认为呢，我们对社会的概念呢，从大脑传到不同的大脑，不断的繁殖和变化。This term abounds with cultural jokes through captioned photos and video sharing. 这个词呢，充斥着文化笑话，透过。呃，富有字幕的这个照片和影片来共享 ，to abound with， 充斥着。Memes 呢 ，are worldwide social phenomenon。魔音呢，是一种全球性的社会现象。Memes often relate to existing cultures or subcultures。魔音呢，通常和现有的文化或是次文化有关。Memes gather emotions, ideas, and actions into an easy-to-translate format. 魔音呢，将情感、思想和行为呢，收集为呃，变成一种容易了解、易懂的格式。Often, memes spread rapidly through social media, emails, and forum boards. 好，通常这个魔音呢，透过社交的这个媒体呢，电子邮件呢，还有这个论坛呢，迅速的传播。Memes are ideal for the digital age. 魔音呢，很适合数位的这个时代。第三段呢，我们谈到网络上无处不在的一种魔音，有积极的、令人鼓舞的和具有幽默的作用。我们也会看到。从那个呃 ，thrillist.com 网站上呢，选择了一些积极而令人鼓舞的魔音。Teacher Fred will read the second paragraph. New words are coined and used nowadays. Learning new ideas or new concepts off the internet might help you pick up more current phrases. For example, words like memeable is not found in the dictionary, but appears everywhere on the internet. 
and is not wrong at all. For example, if there is a single word that sums up the first 100 days of Donald Trump's presidency, it would have to be memeable. Not all the memes are understood by most non-native English speakers. The following are some positive and encouraging kind of memes selected from the theorist.com website. Success Kid. Remember how fun it was to watch Kid Dynamite score a huge win? This meme was like that, but on steroids. The cute image captioned with the often idiotic puns make the success kid image a reminder of how good or dumb life could be. Condescending Sarcastic, Willy Wonka. In 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, when actor Gene Wilder introduces Wonka's most secret machine, he strikes an incredible pose. In that moment, it was a pose of playful suspense. But when it began popping up across the internet, Wilder's pose came to indicate delicious, sarcastic condescension. The Ice Bucket Challenge. During the summer of 2014, many people filmed themselves pouring a bucket of ice cold water over their head, then nominated somebody else to do the same. The Ice Bucket Challenge was followed by over 2.4 million people posting videos on Facebook. People did it to raise money for charity and to increase awareness of ALS. Amotrophic lateral cirrhosis, also called Lou Gehrig disease, which is the same degenerative disease that afflicts Professor Stephen Hawking, who would thought that a viral challenge could lead to an actual good deed. New words are coined and used nowadays. 如今很多的新词被发明出来,也开始流行起来。coin呢本来是硬币名词的意思 to invent or be the first to use a new word or expression coin呢有被发明出来的意思 learning new ideas or new concepts of the internet might help you pick up more current phrases 在网络上学习新的想法或是新的概念呢，可能会帮助你掌握更多当前的用语。自己的off呢，有out example, words like memeable is not found in the dictionary, but appears everywhere on the internet, and it is not wrong at all. 例如呢，在字典上找不到像memorable这样的单词，但是呢，在网络上呢，却无处不在，而且呢，用法呢也一点都没有错。For example, if there's a single word that sums up the first 100 days of Donald Trump's presidency, it would have to be memorable. 例如呢，如果我们用一个单词来总结 Donald Trump 担任总统的前一百天。那应该就是memorable这个字了。意思是说呢,他很多说的话呢,或是做的事呢,都可以拿来当作模因。Not all the memes are understood by most non-native English speakers. 并非呢,所有的模因呢,都能够被大多数非英语为母语的学习者理解。The following are some positive and encouraging kind of memes selected from the Thrillist.com website. 以下呢是从Thrillist.com网站上选择了一些比较正面的而且令人鼓舞的模因。Success Kid,成功小子,Remember how fun it was to watch Kid Dynamite score a huge win. 还记得看活力小子赢得胜利的那个模样有多么有趣吗? This meme was like that, but on steroids. 这个模因呢就是这样。就像加了肋骨唇 The cute image captioned with the often idiotic puns makes the success kit image a reminder of how good or dumb life could be 这句话的主持呢是the cute image 省略的which is which is captioned with 动词是make 
带有愚蠢双关语的可爱图片，使得这个成功小子的图片呢，提醒人们生活可能有多么美好，或是多么的愚蠢。How good or dumb life could be， 是 how 的名词短句啊。Uh, a reminder of how good or dumb life could be, 用来提醒人们生活可能有多么美好或是多么愚蠢。Caption, 啊、uh, 带字幕的。Idiotic puns, 愚蠢的双关语，可笑的双关语。A reminder of, 意思就是 to remind somebody of something. Condescending, sarcastic, Willy Wonka, 啊居高临下的或讽刺的这个 Willy Wonka。Condescending 呢 ，and sarcastic 呢，都有嘲弄的意味，居高临下或是讽刺的这种意思哈。比如说 ，In 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, when actor Gene Wilder introduces Wonka's most secret machine, he strikes an incredible pause. 在一九七一年的呃、uh, Willy Wonka 和巧克力工厂 Chocolate Factory。这个电影里面呢，当导演，呃 ，Gene Wilder 介绍 Wonka 最秘密的机器的时候呢，他摆出了一个令人难以相信的姿势。Strike 这里当当做摆出姿势的的意思。In that moment, it was a pause of playful suspense. But when it began popping up across the internet, Wilder's pause came to indicate delicious, sarcastic condescension. 在那一刻。那只是一个有趣的搞笑的姿态，但是当他开始在网络上跳出来的时候 ，Wilder 的姿态呢、姿势呢，开始代表着美味啦、讽刺的一种屈尊。A pose of playful suspense， 啊，好玩的、令人万味的一个姿势。The ice bucket challenge， 冰桶挑战。During the summer of 2014， many people filmed themselves。Pouring a bucket of ice cold water over their head, then nominated someone else to do the same. 二零一四年夏天，许多人拍摄了自己的照片，将一桶冰冷的水倒在头上，然后呢，点名其他人也照样做。To nominate somebody else to do the same, to follow suit, 做同样的事情。The ice bucket challenge was followed by over 2.4 million people. Posting videos on Facebook. 随后呢，就有超过两百四十万人参加了这个挑战冰桶的这个活动。那些参加的人呢，并发布影片在 Facebook 上面。人们这样做是为了替慈善事业筹募资金，并提高人们对 ALS 的认识。这个 ALS 呢，就是一种呃渐冻人症哦，就是有肌肌肉萎缩的硬化症哦，那也称为 l u g a r i c 的疾病。这个就是折磨 Steve 呃 Steve Hawkins 教授的呃多年的这种病哈、哦，它是一种退化性的疾病。我们来看看这个句子，这个句子呢，到 also called l u g a r i c disease， 其实就很清楚了。后面的非限定子句呢，修饰前面的这个 disease 呢，只是用来补充说明，没有这个晦气的子句呢，也不会影响整个句子。我们请 Fred 老师呢，再帮我们念下面这一段。People did it to raise money for charity and to increase awareness of ALS, amyotrophic lateral cirrhosis, also called Dugaric disease, which is the same. Degenerative disease that afflicts Professor Stephen Hawking. 是的，呃、uh, ，degenerative disease， 退化性疾病，这种退化性疾病会很折磨人的，会很让人苦恼。To afflict 就是折磨。Who would have thought that the viral challenge could lead to an actual good deed? 谁会想到这样像病毒式传开来的挑战呢？活动会呃，这种传开来的挑战活动呢，会导致实际的善行呢？这句话 ，Who would have thought that a viral challenge？ 这个 who 带出来的名词短句当主词。那第三段呢，我们谈到魔音的概念会使人和人在网络上建立联系。虽然社会呃，虽然呢，这个社交媒体呢是交流的平台，但是魔音呢却是表达和文化相关的想法的一种方式。Peter Fred will read the last paragraph. Thank you. 
To sum up, a meme is an image or video that represents the thoughts and feelings of a specific audience. The concepts of memes are about connecting with people online. While social media is a platform for communication, memes are a way of expressing a culturally relevant idea. Yes, memes may come and go, but the act of memeing will probably exist as long as the photos and videos sharing continues. However, while we do enjoy the humor, let's not forget there are other memes that carry deeper meaning and bring attention to social issues that are more deserving of our attention. Thank you. To sum up, a meme is an image or video that presents the thoughts and feelings of a specific audience. 总而言之呢,这个模因呢是代表特定群众的思想和感受的一个图像或是影片. The concept of memes are about connecting with people online. 模因的概念呢就是人和人在网络上建立联系. While social media is a platform for communication, memes are a way of expressing a culturally relevant idea. 然而这个社交媒体只是交流的平台,模因却是表达和文化相关想法的一种方式. Yes, memes may come and go, but the act of memeing will probably exist as long as the photos and videos sharing continues. 这句话是说,是的,模因可能会来来去去,但是只要照片和视频共享继续进行,这个模因就会继续存在。The act of meaning,模因在这样的概念或是做法行为的这样子的一个情况就会继续的存在。as long as the photos and video sharing continues, 只要照片和视频共同继续持续下去. However, while we do enjoy the humor, let's not forget there are other memes that carry deeper meanings and bring attention to social issues that are more deserving of our attention. 然而呢,尽管我们很喜欢幽默, 但是别忘了,还有其他的模因呢,蕴含着更深刻的含义,并引起呢人们对社会问题的一个关注,这个更值得我们注意。Deserving of our attention,就是值得我们注意的意思。第十二课呢,我们探讨了和模因相关的一些议题。那我们今天非常感谢Fred老师来和我们一起助讲。好,我们下次见。